What's up, bros and hoes, whatever floats your goat? It's your boy, Relentless, bringing you yet another Division video. In today's video, I am going over a 3 build. I had one in 1.5, I had one in 1.4, and overall, it works out pretty handy and comes in pretty nifty. Well, actually, I got that backwards. It comes in pretty handy, and it is pretty nifty. Um, so basically, the concept of this is you're getting a constant slow heal. You got 100% health regen. Um, and if you want to go four piece with this, then it'll pick you up every so often. I think around every 10 minutes or whatnot. Um, or you can go with nimble holster or a specialized backpack. You can switch it out for savage gloves, but it's a three, two and one or a three and three or a four and two, um, four, two and one, just whichever you prefer and however, which best fits your needs and what gear that you have. This gear I just had lying around, and I looked at it and said, you know, why not? I did it 1.3, so I'll do it again in 1.6. Did it through all the, all across the, the multiple updates. So here I go again, and this is what I call the Immortal. As you can see, it's a three-piece Nomad and two-piece Alpha Bridge with specialized backpack. But like I stated before, you can mix and match and go four Nomad and two Alpha Bridge. Thus, you will get uh, the constant slow heal, the health on a kill, and it'll pick you up ever so often when you receive that final blow. Um, so therefore, you can just stand right back up and keep dishing out damage. Uh, I got significant, good enough, way better uh, than normal skill power. So that comes in handy to my heals. I'm a little on the tankier side at 340k toughness. And my DPS is not too shabby. I still have 5465 firearms with 292,000 uh, DPS. Now, you can go Specialize, you can go Savage for a little more crit damage, you can even go Nimble, and Nimble your way to never dying. Um, and unfortunately, I had, didn't have a good enough Nimble holster, I could have just slapped on anything, but with base stats all across the board under 1170, I was like, eh, don't want to get roasted too bad. But this is just not necessarily a blueprint, this is more or less a theory and a mindset on how to make an Immortal build. Because the concept is sound, especially with your skill power as much as, as I have here. And that is utilizing a specialized backpack. But like I said, you can switch it up. And if you want to go Barrett's and have a little more DPS, a little more skill power, depending on you know how you alternate your skills or whatnot, then the sky's the limit. I wish these uh, base stats armor on Lay's like, mask and gloves were a little bit higher. But hey, beggars can't be choosers. But without further ado, let's jump right into it. Uh, Vesta Nomad Health, Skill Haste, of course, and the Minor Attributes, I'd rather have Ammo Capacity, but as you can see, um, 1150 Stamina, so, you know, uh, if you have at least a one that has 1250 stats or above, then your toughness is going to go up. Um, you can mix and match, this is the, actually the only one I had, because every time I saw Nomad, I was like, de deconstruct, deconstruct, but as you can see in my mind slides, I have 263 Electronics and 3% Skill Haste in both. And in my mask, I have in my major attributes, skill power. Uh, this had a decent uh, firearms roll. And in the minor attributes, uh, blind and death resistance is kind of retarded. I'd rather have bleed resistance or burn resistance. That would be a lot better. And then in my mod slots, 259 firearms and 3% skill haste. But if you don't want the firearms there, uh, if you have another mod with either stamina or skill power, uh, then by all means, throw it in there. But you want mods with skill haste on it. Going on to the knee pads. Uh, major attribute, uh, health. I went with health because the crit damage, this is more or less um, staying alive. You can dish out a uh, good amount of damage, but your survivability is greatly increased with this build, uh, especially having with this amount of skill power, if not maybe a little bit more, depending on your preference. Um, and also, they, I'm pretty sure there are those out there that have better uh, Nomad pieces than what you see here that I have. Um, but I just wanted to get this out here, this idea out here, and this is an awesome build to either PvP or PvEP, ah, PvPN or PvE. Now I'm getting all tongue twisted and trying to speed through this, so I'm not constantly, you know, ranting on, as y'all say. But in the major attributes, uh, health, if you want a little more crit damage, you go crit damage, uh, whatever you prefer, but to be a little more on the tankier side, that's why I chose health. Um, the stamina stat. 1204, if it ain't 1250, usually I don't keep uh, keep it, I just deconstruct it or sell it. But to make this video, uh, I just went around and just got some, uh, pretty much any Nomad pieces that I could find, so that way that I could throw this build together. Uh, and the minor attributes, uh, once again, I prefer bleed resistance instead of increased kill XP, but if you're on that grind trying to level up another character or DZ or whatnot, then the increased kill XP comes in handy. 
but you prefer uh, instead of blind death resistance, burn resistance, uh, their bleed resistance, and shock resistance. Them are the three ma uh, major ones that you want on your minor attributes. And in the mod slots, I have 238 electronics, 2% skill haste, and first aid self heal. And if you don't know what Nomad is, the two-piece gives you health on a kill. The three-piece grants a constant sm small amount of healing, allowing the user to regenerate all segments of health bar during combat. Keyword, during combat. And then, as on my specialized, you can see I opt in for the 1250 skill power, uh, health, and bleed resistance. But as your backpack and chest piece, uh, my, my preference is to having uh, ammo capacity on the miner on your chest piece and your backpack, so that way you have enough ammo on the two weapons that you'll be using and as you can see it has bleed resistance on it and in my mod slot 261 firearms 2 percent skill haste and two six percent first aid self heals moving on to the gloves uh 1271 firearms it was a great roll um but only 923 armor that's its downside with enemy armor damage create a chance and assault rifle damage now if i didn't have to re-roll the main stat to for these gloves uh, then I would have re, re rolled the enemy armor damage for either skill haste or crit damage. Um, but if I didn't want to use specialized, then I could switch it up and be even more tankier and go with savage gloves. But this overall works out. The composition the, the gives you the skill power comes in real nice and handy. But if you wanted to tack on the third alpha bridge for that 5% damage... Um, I think the payoff and the switch, the survivability, just for that, you know, extra, you know, 1,500 maybe in damage, uh, the payoff is not so that great because you can achieve that just with booster shot. And then on my holster, good stats across the board, 1267, 1267, and 1266. And health, uh, you could go reload speed or any numerous things in your major attributes besides health. Um, if I'm able to re-roll it, I would definitely uh, look into probably re-roll it as something else, such as like skill haste. Um, but I wanted good stats across the board, and it only had firearms electronics, so therefore I had to re-roll the stamina, and it gave me 1267. Now let's move on to the weapons. Uh, MP5 ST, low base damage, but it has responsive, deadly, and vicious. And then MP4 with fierce, brutal, and deadly. Um, you can easily switch it up. Uh, I can rock this Hilder if I wanted to, uh, such as in PvE uh, situations, if I'm PvEing with responsive, self-reserve, and deadly. And that self-reserved on there with running an SMG, and you stack on the crit chance, then that's going to heal you just as much. Um, also, I got an LBOAC, but as you can see, it requires 4790 Um yeah, I could switch out a mod on any other, you know, gear piece. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have a firearms one with stem uh, with skill haste on it, so I just opted in to have all the mods on skill haste. But all I had to do was switch out probably electronics or a stamina mod, and then I would unlock uh, all of my talents on this weapon if I chose to use the LVOAC or this MP5 or this MP5 uh, with sustained on it. And then it has competent and swift, which is swift. Uh, I'd rather have it some something else. Um, but basically, any weapon that you prefer using, it will work in, on this build. It's just based on personal preference. Because the overall composition and the thought process along this is having the 100% health regen between the alpha bridge and then having the constant slow heal. And then, you know, you duck into cover. And then plus you have your immunizer out for all those pesky shock turrets and flame turrets, even though you're still going to be taking damage if you stand those flames. But you're getting almost 5,000 health per second, and the health on this, this baby is almost 100k health. So it's going to stay out nice. Uh, you can go to life support if you wanted to. You only get, you know, 1,000 more. Um, but if you run the DZ with this, then definitely run immunizer if you're PVEing. Uh, then go life support to help you, especially if you're doing incursions, so that way it'll help get your teammates up if they should fall. Um, overall, uh, I just got today's help of my nephew uh, run around and do some PVE, and basically I dropped my immunizer, and I never uh, went down at all, uh, just strafing, using cover properly, uh, and just picking my battles and making sure I'm in the best possible situation on my terms and not whoever I'm facing terms. 
Um, granted, the NPCs, you know, they try to crowd you and then, you know, they'll focus you. Um, so just utilize your cover and stay in your box and you should have no problem. If uh, you prefer something other than an SM, uh, SMG, then you can go LMG um, with the right talents on it. Um, there's all these different types of choices. But, you know, this is my take. Like I said, I did it since, you know, 1.3 all the way up into 1.5. And I have yet to do it at 1.6 just because, like I said, every time I saw Nomad, I'm like, ah, crap. And then I would just sell it or deconstruct it. But anyways, try this build out, 3 Nomad, 2 Alpha, uh, and Specialized. Or like I said, if, you a, if you're a nimbler, if that's a word, then equip a nimble holster and nimble your way to never dying. But um, try it out. Let me know in the comments what you thought, think about it. And I will definitely respond back to you. And be sure to check out Revolution Gaming. Their link is in the description below. Also, we still have that Cinch Gaming Controller giveaway going on. Be sure to check it out. That link is in the description below. Um, make sure you go check it out. The, it's on the main page of my channel. It's the Epic Giveaway video. Uh, it'll give you all the details you will need to enter it in. And one lucky winner will get a $180 value controller absolutely free because it is free to hit the like button, it is free to sub, and it is free to uh, comment on the videos. But thank you so much for your support. And I got broads in the London, Twisted the lean, the family, credit cards in the scammers, hitting the licks in the band.